Nice. <laughs> and that's a good one. Ooh. What's up, Salt Strong Nation? Today I want to share a three-step process that I've put together to help you guys catch more sheep's head. If you've ever fished for sheep's head before, I think you would agree with me if I said that they can be a very difficult fish to catch. They are called convicts, and they're not called convicts for no reason. They can steal your bait without you even knowing. I still remember my first time fishing for sheep's head. It was a learning experience for sure. So I put together a three-step process to help you guys catch sheep's head. It's gonna sound super simple, but it's gonna be very important. Step one, determine that you're getting a bite. Step two, fill the weight. Step three, set the hook. Now we're not gonna go too in detail yet. Let's jump over to some catch footage where I actually use these three steps on the water and then we'll go a little bit more in detail on the three-step process. Let's do it, guys. All right, cast this out there, and we'll just let a bunch of line out so you can see the, the line is falling. It's moving, now it completely stopped. So we're gonna reel tight to where we're not picking it up off the bottom, but we can fill everything. If anything touches that line, we're gonna fill it. And so far, no bites. So I'm gonna slowly pick it up, and then I'm gonna just gonna let the current push it back slowly, and then I'm gonna set it back down on the bottom. So let's lift it up slowly, and then slowly set it back down. That way if any sheep's head are in the area, they'll see it falling. And two, we're just moving to some new rocks to see if there's any hiding down in there. No bites, let's lift it up, move it over. Getting close to these pylons too, so that could be good. Okay, there's a bite. Let's see if we got weight. Yep. Nice. There he is. A little cheaper. If you feel that weight, set the hook. There he is. All right, I just felt something, so I'm gonna slowly lift up and see if I feel weight. Nice. This is a good one. There we go. Felt that weight and set that hook. That's what you gotta do with these sheep's head. If you don't feel the weight, it's not worth setting the hook. There we go. Letting them go today. There it is guys, the three steps to catching sheep's head. Now let's dial in on these three steps a little bit further. Step one, determine the bite. This is gonna be so important that you really pay attention to what's going on when you're trying to determine the bite from a sheep's head. They can be so subtle and that's why people call them convicts and that's why they can steal your bait without you even knowing. But there's actually two different ways that you can determine the bite from a sheep's head. The first way is going to be keeping your line tight between your rod tip and your rig and actually filling the bite through your rod. As you'll see in this clip here, my rod tip doesn't move very far from where I'm trying to determine the bite to where I'm checking for the weight and then setting the hook. And that's because I had my line tight and I was filling for the bite for those sheep's head. But there's also another way that you can check for the bite of a sheep's head and that's actually keeping your line loose and letting it lay on the surface of the water and watching your line for any abnormal movement. As you'll notice in this clip, my rod tip moves a good distance between where I was checking for the bite to where I'm filling for the weight and then setting the hook. And that's because I was actually watching my line to determine the bite from sheep's head. This method can work great, but I wouldn't recommend to use it when you're fishing heavier currents because the current is just going to take the slack out of your line and it's gonna make it very difficult for you to know whether you're getting a bite from a sheep's head or not. Now step two, this is also going to be very important. To fill the weight of that sheep's head, what you're doing is you're verifying that that hook is in that sheep's head mouth. But if you don't feel any weight, it's pointless for you to set the hook. It would be best to leave your rig down there in hopes that maybe that sheep's head will bite one more time and give you a second chance. But if you don't do step two, you'll just be snatching your bait away from potential fish. And also step two gets you prepared to set the hook. You pretty much just follow through with a hook set if you do feel some weight. 
and this is going to ensure that you're getting a good hook set because you have complete tension between your rod tip and that rig to know that you're getting a solid hook set on a sheep's head, which is step three. This is also going to be very important because if you don't get a good hook set on a sheep's head, you're likely not going to catch that fish. They have a lot of teeth in their mouth and they have a small mouth at that. So by getting your line tight to get that good hook set is going to be so helpful for sheep's head fishing. But that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I really hope this video helped you out. And if you wanna see more content like this, definitely check out the Salt Strong Insider Club where we guarantee that you will catch more fish in less time and save money on everything that you need to do so by taking advantage of the 20% off discounts that you get on our entire tackle store. Hey, and if you use a different method to catch your sheep set, I highly encourage you to put that in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. And uh, hopefully I see you guys in the Insider Club. You guys have a good one. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today